Jason Phillips from AutoAppraise, AutoAppraise.com. I'm down in Clarkston, Michigan today, starting to run out of daylight. Just finished up on about a three and a half hour long inspection on a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. It's an N code 383 D21, according to the Fender Tag original pistol grip car. Shot in plum crazy. I don't know how well the video is going to show that. It's good looking color. I don't see an FC7 code on the trim tag, but nice looking color anyway. We just pushed it out of the showroom so we could get a. Uh, hey, fire that thing up so we can get a cold start on it. light so we can see the temperature gauge. You see the temp gauge is down at the bottom right now. Sorry for the darkness of this video. Oh, pressure gauge is just starting to come up. Can you rev the engine up a little bit for me? Standard 383, it's got an Edelbrock intake. I've already closed up the hood and pinned it, so I'm not going to bother showing that to you. I went around the body with a uh, business card style magnet, tested 150 spots. The magnetic adhesion is really good on the body. There's a spot about three or four inches down here on the rocker that lacked adhesion with a business card, but it stuck okay with a heavier magnet. My digital paint meter read about Go ahead and back it up and uh, bring it out to a spot where I can drive it. My digital paint meter read anywhere from uh, six, six uh, mils to about 27 mils in various locations. Well, we got brake lights tested, side markers tested. Pop the headlights on for me real quick, will you? Right. Thank you. Turn signal. Right. Thank you. Horn works. All right. Pop out. We'll take her for a spin. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll roll in there quick enough. Thanks. Go on a little test drive. It's an unbelievably nice day in Michigan, January 11th, I believe it is today. It's about 47 degrees up here. Actually, got the windows down, which is a little bit crazy, but man, it's January in Michigan. Can't ask for nicer weather than this. The car's got a original interior in it, and it's got some what I call dog paw marks. I'm grunting in the back here. My fat butt's rolling up these uh, windows. Got a few marks here where the seams are splitting on the door panels and a couple marks on that one where it's like a dog jumped up on it and was begging for his owner. Dash lights are working. Clutch engagement is about two inches off the floor, right there at the bottom. Let's see what she does. Dangerously manning the roads with the camera. My hands 
are off the wheel. Stops pretty straight. A little pole to the right, maybe if any at all. And drop that down to third gear. The underbody of the car was really solid and uh, clean. Uh, the car has been in a previous collision. I noted uh, two hook marks or elongations in the frame rails, one right under where I'm sitting, pulled towards the rear, and another one on the rear uh, right rail, so the car was chained down and held uh, to be pulled forward. Underneath the front end, though, I didn't really see any uh, obvious collision damage uh, surviving from past. Oops, sorry about that. splashes looked really good when we uh, were underneath the vehicle and the inner rocker structure looks really nice it didn't look uh, rotted out the fuel lines and brake lines no no active leaks noted there was a ding or two in the oil pan and one in the gas tank and, um, and what else the gas gauge appears to be working that oil pressure gauge is working but it doesn't show that it's got uh, a very good read my guess is that the sending unit should be checked and or changed. All the lights appear to be working. The wipers aren't on the car. They're actually sitting there in the back seat, if you can see them. Dash pad's in real nice shape. The carpet's been changed. Again, sorry for the darkness in this video. Seat covers were done. Original Roadrunner uh, horn cap. Little delamination on the top edge of the mirror. There I am. And uh, I don't think that temperature gauge is functioning. At the end of the day, I don't think it's functioning. I've got somebody who pulled in and took both lanes to turn left, which isn't very nice, making my video a little bit longer than it should be. Come on. Come on, people. Come on, let's go. we got a test drive to conduct. autoappraise.com finishing up coming up on four hours of an inspection on a uh, 71 Plymouth Roadrunner four-speed car in Clarkston Michigan we're doing today for a pre-purchase inspection this car is for sale that's why we're doing the inspection showing the buyer the results of this video as well as about 300 still photos and a long written narrative report you can get that same kind of service on any car across the country. we got 310 guys stationed nationwide. We'll go out and jack up cars for you, lay magnets on them, put them to the test, drive them, 
and uh, kind of uh, not so much pick them apart, but uh, depict them for what they truly are. That's what we do. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, 800-301-3886. Check out other videos on YouTube of other uh, classic cars that I've test driven and some narrative summary on. If you enjoy old car videos, check them out. Leave me some favorable comments, would you? Help the uh, YouTube police see me as a good guy. We also got a Facebook account, although I hardly ever go there. But uh, sign on, say hello, friend us. Feel free to utilize this type of service anywhere in the country. 1-800-301-3886. Thanks for watching my video. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise.